Hello friends, welcome to Middle Lab Student YouTube channel. This video is about direct peak alchemy examination under microscope. So, firstly, I show you how to prepare saline and iodine wet mount preparation. After that, I will show you how to scan prepared slide under low power and high power. While I am scanning my slide, I will show you the parasites exam protozoan cyst and how to identify those parasites using their diagnostic features. Let's see. If you like my channel, please consider subscribe and click the notification bell also. What are the requirements need for the preparation of saline and iodine wet mount? Cover slips Wooden applicator Microscope slides Blue gold lighting Normal saline And stool sample Method Firstly, you have to clean your microscope slide and label it with the name or number of the patient. Put one drop of sodium chloride solution, that means normal saline, in the middle of the left half of the slide. After that, put one drop of blue gold iodine solution in the middle of the right half of the slide. Using wooden applicator, take a small portion of the stool. Mix the sample with the drop of normal saline solution on the slide. After that, using wooden applicator, take a second portion of stool from the specimen and mix it with the logolidine solution. Discard the applicator after use. Place a cover slip over each drop. Apply the cover slip correctly. Avoid the formation of air bubbles. Firstly, you should examine saline preparation. After that, you should examine iodine preparation. How to scan prepared slide under low power and high power? Examine start at the top left hand corner using 10 power objective. When you are able to find some exorcist, then you can use 40 objective for verify your identification. This is a Ascaris lambdicoides fertilized stick. It has a double shell. You can see it has a double shell and the external shell is Mammillated. The internal shell is smooth, thick, and colorless. Size 40 by 2, 70 micrometer. You can see oval shaped egg. External shell is brown color. Content is colorless or pale yellow. Here you can see Jardia lamblia cyst. In center of the cyst, you can see hair-like line, folded in 2O shape. Cytoplasm is clear, pale yellowish color. 2 to 4 oval nuclei, you can see. 
cyst has a oval shape size 8 to 12 micrometer in center here you can see trichuri stichura egg it has a barrel shape size 50 to 65 micrometer shell has a two layer shell is orange color content is yellow color specific features is rounded transparent plug at each pole in center here you can see entamoeba coli cyst it is a round shape it has 1 to 8 nuclei and it is larger than the cyst of entamoeba histoltica size 12 to 20 micrometer Carisome is a large, diffuse, and often eccentric. Cytoplasm is a pale yellow color. In center, here you can see Entamoeba histoltica cyst. In right hand side, you can see Entamoeba coli cyst. Now you can compare Entamoeba histoltica and Entamoeba coli cyst using their sizes. Entamoeba histoltica cyst is a small. Entamoeba coli cyst is a large. Entamoeba histoltica cyst is a round shape. It has 1 to 4 nuclei. Cariosome is a small, compact and central. Cytoplasm is a yellowish color. In some, sometimes some cyst has a chromatoid bodies. Not found in all cysts. Size is 12 to 15 micrometer. Now you know how to identify Ascaris lumbricoides egg, Trichuris stichura egg, Jardia lamblia cyst, Entemba coli and Entemba histolytica cyst. This is your time to identify eggs and cyst. I show you some eggs and cysts. If you know answers, please comment below and I will check my comments and I will reply. Uses of direct wet mount to assess warm burden of patient to provide quick diagnosis of heavily infected specimen to check organism mortality to diagnose organisms that might not be seen from permanent stain method limitations of saline and iodine wet mount preparation once iodine is added to the preparation, the organism will be killed and motility will be lost. Oil immersion examination is not recommended. If you like my channel, please consider subscribe and click the notification bell also. If you have a question and what kind of video do you need next, please comment below. Thank you for watching my video.